My name's Andy Kelly. I'm the general manager at Voxer. We're based here in San Francisco and have built a, uh, a huge following in the uh, push to talk walkie-talkie space. You know, the original idea for Voxer actually came from frustrations with military communications. And as we started to think about what would it look like to build Voxer, we focused on the enterprise side of things, a productivity tool that really makes mobile workforces better. We ended up launching a consumer version just to see, you know, is this going to have traction? And, you know, I think far beyond our expectations saw great success on the consumer side. So we've been available in the consumer marketplace for iOS and Android for a couple of years, and now in the last year we've really refocused on the enterprise side of things. And so in the last two months, have started to push out the enterprise version of Voxer. So taking a lot of the same features that have made Voxer so popular and adding a lot of the, the enterprise uh, features that are necessary, you know, administrative control, uh, the ability to manage groups and large teams uh, off of a browser. Uh, we just launched this week a browser version of Voxer so that you have the ability to manage conversations not only at your desktop when you're there, but of course take them with you on your mobile device when you're out. You know, what we're in the process of doing now is pilots with a number of large enterprises, which is exciting mostly because a lot of them have come to us saying, you know, either we've used your free version in the past and we, we think this is a really interesting tool for our business, or they're starting to hear about the fact that, that we're out there. But, you know, we have a you know, major Asian airline that is spinning up with us, uh, big box retail, global uh, engineering company. Um, and then a whole range of companies, large and small, that are signing themselves up, getting up on Voxer, putting their teams on it, you know, even if it's as small as 10 or 15 or 20 people, get them signed up, get them using Voxer. So everything from small teams all the way up to global corporations. Yeah, I mean, really what it is is, is having the efficiency of, and, and the sort of contextual richness of live voice, but the, the, the big difference between what we've built and really everything out there, whether it's a live telephony system, telephones, radios, Skype, or messaging apps, of which there are probably a hundred. We built a system that has that richness and the efficiency of live voice, but has the reliability of a messaging platform, so that if I vox you, and you're busy, or you, uh, you're out of network, the messages are there waiting for you when you come back. And so you never miss a message on Voxer, and that's a big difference between a lot of the traditional ways that enterprises in particular communicate. So, no voicemail, no sitting on a conference bridge waiting for people to show up. It's just a much easier way to manage communications. So what we've got is really you know, a list of conversations that, uh, that the users can uh, select from. You go into a different chat, you pick the people you want to talk to, and it's really as simple as pressing the talk button and saying what you need to say. You're not ringing a phone, you're not leaving a voicemail. It takes you four seconds to leave a message that then is shared with individuals or with groups on your team and they can respond when they're able to. And so you really get that, that sense of liveness and, and, and highly efficient voice. You have the ability to pick teams. You have, uh, you know, like a distribution list you'd find with email systems, the ability to select those people. You can, of course, send text. You can send photos. So it's a really rich way to communicate one-on-one -on -one or one-to-many across organizations.